Well, we're dry now and that's very important and will be dry for much of your Friday morning into the very early afternoon hours before unfortunately more rain is expected and expected over the very similar areas that were hit over the past several days like Fort Lauderdale. Now as we go into the weekend we will definitely be drier on Saturday but then more rain is expected on Sunday. So as the flood water slowly had the opportunity to recede because of the dry conditions for now, the damage is already done though. We have that flood warning in effect it is extended for Fort Lauderdale areas of Commercial Boulevard just north of Oakland and Oakland Park all the way south. I-95, A1A, US-1, and this is extended into parts of Sunrise, too, all the way down to Davie, Griffin, and then in towards portions of much of University Drive and in towards Pembroke Park, also all the way towards the coast, which is no surprise because that's where we saw the worst of the weather on Wednesday, the historic rainfall we continue to talk about. Yesterday, we had another round, a deluge of showers and storms right over the very similar areas that have been hit hard. Look, started in Weston and then continued to train its way all the way over towards Towards the East Coast. As for rain this morning, yes, we did see a few showers over parts of Broward, but that rain has now pushed offshore. So I'm happy to tell you the models are hinting mostly dry conditions. Take a look. I showed you this yesterday so you can plan out your day, especially Miami Day, because you're not seeing the impacts like what we're seeing in Fort Lauderdale. You've got much of the day to get out and enjoy before some afternoon storms could develop over parts of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. We're talking about 4 p.m. I'll have more on the forecast coming up.